Morgan Ivory is joining me right now. What's good, man? Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, man? Hey, it's going well. How are you? Good, good, man. Thanks for being on the show. I truly appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, you know, it's definitely an honor to be a part of uh, you know, local radios and uh, different things, or internet radio. I mean, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful community and music in general. So, uh, I'm glad to be here. So I've been a fan of you and um, Tyler, a local hunt. Um, you guys have done music together for quite some time now, but y'all went on a hiatus, and now you work yeah. on, your, on your own music. Um, so how has the music as a solo artist coming along for you? I hear you got some new music on the way. Talk a little bit about that. Well, so as, uh, as an artist, through the years, man, I played in a lot of uh, different uh, rock bands and, you know, outfits that, you know, were cool. And uh, I guess collectively, uh, there's like that everybody kind of added their two cents in, you know. Um, and through the years, man, I kind of just, there was a lot of stepping stones. You know, it started out, you know, I was uh, playing in like this small band in high school. And, and it kind of evolved from that to joining up with a, another band out of a town that was about 45 minutes away and I ended up like pretty much traveling all around the U S and, uh, and Germany and, um, Europe in general. We went, we went a couple of different places, but, uh, you know, stepping stones throughout the years, man. Um, I moved to Louisville about six years ago. I uh, met a couple of different artists out here. We joined a band or started a band, um, called stereo empire. And that went for a few years. You know, we kind of wrote some good stuff. We had uh, some stuff played on the local radio station out here in Louisville, Kentucky. And, um, you know, eventually that just kind of fizzled out because everybody was kind of artistically headed in a different direction. Um, so when all that happened, the band split up roughly, I guess, October of last year after we got back from a month-long tour where we did, like, the 95 circuit. I mean, we went to, like, Boston, New York City, we played at uh, pianos in uh, down lower Manhattan, which was really cool. Um, so we got back. We decided it wasn't quite working. Everybody wanted to sort of uh, sift off and do their own things. Um, I wasn't quite happy with the music that was being created by the band. Um, and I was all the while learning how to start my own production, do that kind of stuff, just using GarageBand at the time. Um so I kind of, once that happened, I, I decided that it was probably a good idea that I would invest some money into uh, you know, learning how to do things and then getting the right necessary equipment to learn how to do a little bit of production. And So, you know, I bought it live. I did that whole thing uh, for producing all my own stuff and had an engineer working on some of it. And then um, through all that, I started sending that stuff out to a couple different artists. Um hit up a homie of mine that I had seen play a few times and I knew it was also a producer. Uh, his name's Ryan Marsh. He's also uh, the free soul effect, which I believe is one of the songs you guys have tonight um, called love you. Right. Mm -hmm. It has been produced by the free soul effect um, and co-written with Ryan. Um, I met with Ryan. We started working on that song together about six months ago. Uh, Ryan told me about this dude that I'd probably vibe with. Cause you know, I showed him some of the stuff that I was doing and he was like, yo man, I know this dude, Tyler Thurman, like he's doing this thing called local haunt. And I feel like you would really, really vibe with this dude. So I emailed Tyler and I was like, yo, you want to meet up? He was like, of course, this is cool. Like not many people are doing this thing. And you know, he was just kind of getting his feet wet, just like me. He didn't really know anybody. Um, so we met up for coffee one, one day at uh, my favorite spot, Quill's Coffee, here in Louisville, um, on Baxter Avenue. And immediately, man, we just, like, hit it off. We just uh, started talking about all kinds of things, life issues and, you know, childhood hardships. And we really just, man, we really just vibed. And uh, we decided to kind of get together and produce a first track together. The first track that Local Hunt produced was um, that we did together was Caught Up. Um, and that was released by Rough Records in Boulder, Colorado uh, on SoundCloud. Um, 
not too long ago. I'd say probably about not even five months ago. But uh, after we sort of released that EP, we decided that we kind of, he wanted to do more of this production, the production side of things. And I wanted to do more of the artistic side of things and the performance side of things because it's just more in my blood. Um, Homie is just so good at, uh, I mean, his producing is just skyrocketed, you know, from where he was then and where he is now. Uh, And right now Tyler's, you know, producing a lot of tracks for, you know, some potentially big placements and, and things like that as well. Uh, so he, he went off and did that. And I was still working on this project that I had going on called cells. And, um, I guess like down the road, man, I was just sending him some stuff and he could kind of feel what I was going for, but I was sort of missing the mark on it as far as my production was going. Um, and he reached out to me like, uh, about three weeks ago, almost a month ago, and we decided collectively that we would work together. Um, he would play the producer role, or the artist role. We would uh, kind of develop and and let the sound, you know, organically uh, evolve from there. And so that's what we aim to do with the with the Morgan Ivory uh, project is to uh, is to really, you know, break the mold and as far as what pop music is, you know. Uh, to me, there's a lot of pop music out there that's just, you know, it misses the mark on, on, on human feeling and emotion now. It's just a lot of that on the radio. And I, uh, you know, I aim to change that, man. I, um, you know, it's a big, there's big shoes to fill, but, you know, I think that, uh, Tyler's production and the things that I've been working on the last year of my life, as far as the artistry goes, I mean, the sky is the absolute limit. Uh, long, long answer. <laughs> <laughs> It's all good, man. It's all good. It's all good. Um, we are joined with Morgan Ivory here on Chilling with Jeffy Kenny C. Um, so, as far as you know, what do you have in store for the remainder of 2017, and what do you have in store for next year as of right now? Well, the remainder of 2017 is definitely going to be focusing on um, putting out some demos. Uh, some high quality demos and um, seeing kind of what what style we're really trying to chase. So currently, right now, you know, we're really trying to figure out what the sound is is going to be collectively. Um, you know, there's a few songs that are going to be a little more on that dark uh, weekend Zane vibe, uh, and then there's going to be some songs a little more Ed Sheeran-y, uh if Ed Sheeran had a little bit more soul. Uh, not enough stuff, but uh, you know. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're kind of testing the waters at this point, you know. Um, and I'm trying to feel things out as far as, you know, the things that I'm feeling and the emotions that I want to convey and the ideas that I'm trying to, um, you know, highlight. Uh, you know, I, I really want the listener to be able to go on a journey. Um, this last year of my life has been a, a, a fantastic journey. Um, it's been very hard. It's been very hard. And I've been in a pretty, pretty dark place. Um, but because of what I've been doing to take the things that I was feeling, man, for the, I mean, this is the first time in my life I've ever felt something real like this. So, you know, finally have things to say and, you know, I feel like everybody comes to that point in their life, some in some capacity. Um, you know, before that, my artistry was kind of more, uh, shallow and, you could hear it and you could tell and now you know i feel like this is real and it's 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 in my heart uh where it has never been before you know so the rest of 2017 you know really just honing in on the sound and um really just to further further developing and evolving the ideas that um you know i want to convey and, and the emotions and uh, ideas i want to evoke uh and then as far as 2018 man um the sky's the limit I mean, I'm, I'm aiming for the stars, man. Like I don't have currently a maybe or if in my vocabulary. Um, I just know in my heart, man, because I'm so, I, I'm in this honest place in my soul, um, transparent, you know, I mean, it's all real. So I know that it will be successful based on the honesty, you know, the pure emotion that I'm going to bring to the table and bring to the listeners things that they can 
relate to and, and feel like the music that helped me through the times that I, you know, wouldn't have made it through without it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well said, man. And, you know, for people that wants to hear your music, um, where can people go and what are some of your social media links that people need to check out? Dope, man. Uh, so as far as social media goes, uh, YouTube is going to be Morgan Ivory Music. Um, I have a cover up of Sabrina Claudio's, um, one of Sabrina Claudio's songs, Wanna, Wanna Know, and it's beautiful. Check it out. I love it. That song, uh, is just gorgeous and has a lot of meaning to me. Um, as far as Instagram goes, that's at Morgan Ivory Music. Um, Facebook is currently being, un it's kind of under development as, as of right now. Um, you know, the change and the rebranding is fairly new. We want to make sure we have all our ducks in a row before we kind of uh, hit people with the website, um, imagery, all that jazz. You know, we're, we're still waiting on a few things, you know, to come through to see, you know, how we're going to do it and, you know, what uh, resources we're going to need, you know, to supply for ourselves. Um, but just be on the lookout. Uh, the best thing to do would be just to follow my Instagram at Morgan Ivory Music. I'm constantly posting stories. Um, to keep you guys informed while the content is being developed. Um, YouTube is good. I'm posting videos quite often. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I look forward to hearing from you guys and, you know, I appreciate any support at, at all in any capacity. Absolutely, man. Thank you so much for being on the show. Um, continue success. Shout out to Tyler as well. And, uh, um, keep doing Disney Wolf and, and Disney Wolf and, and everyone out there in yeah. Louisville. I got love. I'm a Lex. I live in Lexington. I got love for Louisville, though. I got a lot of talent out there doing your thing. I got love. Hey, we got we got we got talent like crazy, man. And like the city's coming up, man. It is like to see the amount of incredible human beings making incredible art. I mean, it's just it, it's all been over the year too. You know, it's just it's beautiful, man. It's real. It's it's raw and it's and we're we're coming, and uh, you know I'm from Lexington, so I vibe with Lexington too. <laughs> Good people out there as well, man. That's that's awesome, man. And you know, people like to use this impression, you know, the rivalry here and there, but musically, that's a whole different atmosphere. Um, it's, oh, so it's a uh, there's a lot of good in store for both Lexington and Louisville for sure. Um, but I want to yeah. thank you for your time, man. You have a good night. Have a good weekend.